and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nimbage with Esbiri Brown and Gourmet <coughs> Pens, also known as Aziza. Aziza. No, um, my name is Aziza, just in case pens, you didn't know. Gourmet Pens. <gasps> gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. Pens. Gourmet Pens. Gourmet Pens. Okay, I think, no, 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 I think, no, no, I think no, this one has no, gone no, on long no, enough. No, 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 no. Anyway, today we'll have a look at this pen. That pen in his hand right now. <laughs> Sorry, this is the Smith, pen. We, we need to eat. We're hungry. Yeah, we have also done three series images before this, so you know, bear with us. Uh, this we'll be pen, excited. Don't worry. This pen was uh, lent to me by my main man, Marco. And this is very offensive to some people. Oh, yeah, so, sorry. Sorry, it just slipped out sometimes. But the problem is, you've been doing this since before yes, all the before allegations. The, the Bill Gate, so it's... Uh, the Bill Gate? The Bill Gate. Yeah, that's the scandal, you know. Oh. Okay. Anyway, it didn't mean to offend anyone, but this is what Marco lent us. Um, and um, Now, the reason Marco lent this to us is because I have been considering purchasing one of these, and he said, why don't you borrow it and see if you're interested oh, in it. Oh, got it. <laughs> you really shouldn't do things like anyway. that. Anyway... <laughs> Yes, so we tried it. This is actually a fascinating pen, and yes. surely you all recognize it. Because it is a Visc Vis Visconti? No, Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze. Uh, and I have reviewed a long time ago, a long, long time ago, the uh, Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Steel. Both are the same size, but the steel has steel trims, and this one has bronze trims. Um, now, what were your first impressions? Um, okay. This is very tough. Yes, so I have used the steel and there's nothing wrong with it, but I like the appearance of the bronze yes. better. I think the bronze brings a lot more rich, rich warmth yes, to, to the look, to, to the pen. So I like that, but I was also very excited because I was like, oh, uh, you know. Um, I do have the Crystal Swirl in the Florentine Hills, but this one is completely different, of course. So, I was super excited. First impressions were positive. Uh, this is actually the first pen I ever saw at um, the Fine Writing Instrument Night in uh, Winnipeg at UN Luggage. And um, they had all sorts of nice pens there. This is before I was... This is when I thought my... Uh, Parker Latitude and my Lamy Safari was like the max that I would ever go and so I remember touching this pen and I remember reading about the description of the nib and I was like this is madness this sounds like heaven and um, so it's been years that I've been interested in this pen why I have not bought it yet I don't know um, so first impressions were very excited very positive so I was really looking forward to giving this one a test yes that was a long story that probably nobody cares about well, no, no, no. It was interesting. But for right? me, this pen has a lot of background. It has a lot of emotion. Not necessarily background. this pen, but this this model. The model. Yeah. Well, I've used I, I've used a, uh, a Homo sapiens steel for a while, so I found it very interesting to try this out because there are some differences which we'll cover in a second, I suppose. Um, but the first impression are this is a very different pen from most pens, and I think that nicely segues into what makes it special. Well, there's a few things. It has a power filler system, but a lot of Visconti pens have that. But what makes it really special is that it's made out of lava. Um, and that gives it... Specifically, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique lava mixture. Not, yes. It's not just pure lava. It's 50%, um, I, I believe it's 50% basaltic. Basaltic? Basaltic. Basaltic. I don't know. I, I didn't think about this before I said it. Basaltic? Anyway. Uh, lava from Mount Etna and it's mixed with, uh, with with resin and it makes this unique hard to describe really nice and interesting to touch formula it's very interesting and that's I think that is what makes it stand out this pen has a unique feeling uh, it's it's I think it's closest to rubbery the way to uh, to to describe it um, but yeah you but really not have sticky. to no, no you really have to t it's it's not that's soft, but it's just it has it's a, a really rubbery neat material. Feel. You so got really, You have to hold yeah, this pen. You, you have know, to whether touch you want to buy it or not. This is a pen that would be really cool to hold. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. 
and I think that's what, what makes it special. Apart from that, as I said, the power filler, it has the, the Visconti bayonet closure, so you, you put the cap on and then you kind of give it a half turn and it, it you know, it, it clutches onto those It's like a hook things. class, a uh, hook, yeah. hook lock mechanism. So, but I think that the, the material by far is what makes it Now, the special. material is, as described by Visconti, virtually unbreakable. I think that could be argued with, but... Let's open the window um, and find out. It's also very resistant to heat. Apparently, it can, it, it can tolerate heat up to 100 degrees Celsius. Why you would ever do that to your pen, I don't know. Fire um, up the stove. Uh, it is um, also slightly hygroscopic, so it, it... I'm not sure how I feel about this one. It kind of freaks me out a bit, but it, it absorbs hand sweat as you... And, like, uh. stuff as you use it. Uh, I don't know. That, that weirds me out a little bit. But... Uh, it is really neat. I think there's a lot of things that make this a a unique pen. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. However, transitioning into the very interesting writing experience. Yes. Uh, that was fairly horrible. <laughs> and, uh, it was we know, horrible. We know. We we know uh, that 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 was the case. Um, Marco had had commented on that himself. The nib, it's a double broad nib, and well, you know I love double broads, um, but it's 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 extremely poorly tuned uh, by by Visconti. It, it it skips like crazy. It, it now starts, we have quite a few Viscontis, as you know. Yes. And I would say seventy five percent of them have needed a bit of tuning, but have not been this bad, like to the point where it was unusable. So. Although we we know that if you're using a Visconti or buying a Visconti, there is the chance that it will need some tuning. Um, I was not expecting this. This was, I think, work for Nipmeister. I mean, yeah. this is this is hardcore tuning. What has to be done to this? So here, it's um, first of all the tines are super super tight, so it's extremely dry, and uh, honestly, when you look at it, you're like, this is not a double broad because they're so tight that it looks just like maybe abroad, yeah. you know? Um, and we have other Visconti double broads, which are very broad, very wet, very, uh, well, more stubby. And um, this one does not offer that experience. So also it was, uh, because so dry, very skippy, a lot of hard starting. So it, it's probably plagued with all sorts of issues. Um, in addition to being dry, it has yeah. over polishing and it's just, it's kind of like this made it out of the factory how, but other than that, now the thing is I have used other Visconti nibs and so have you that are really great. Yeah, absolutely. You know, including double rods. So I am trying to consider the fact that I know the nib could be better, but this particular nib on this pen is just. A horrible writing experience. Yeah, it should so. not have passed quality control, really. Yeah. Um, Especially given that this is not a cheap pen. It's definitely not a cheap pen. Well, we'll come back to that. Um, Very nicely balanced, super comfortable. I find the... Uh, I'm just gonna ramble. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the section is, a, is, is not too small. It is small. It does have an indent for your grip. Um, if you have bigger fingers, hands, or if you grip higher, you are gonna feel these claws. Um, but for me, this is fine. I don't think most people need to post this. I'm not going to post it because it is a fairly thin lip cap. But you can post it if you have to. But it's like super long, super heavy. Brah. So anyway, writing experience was really negative. And if this was the only Homo Sapiens or only Visconti I ever used and was basing my purchase decision off this, it'd be like, no. Nah. Nah. What about you? Oh, well, I think I kind of <clears throat> rambled sufficiently for both of us. Well... The writing experience was, was poor. That doesn't mean there's nothing to the model. There are a lot of things I love about the model. Wait, 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 wait. This is not the only pen that's ever had a poor writing experience, right? I mean, that's why Nibmeisters are around. Yeah, right? but if you buy Just so you know. this type of pen, then you would expect it to write perfectly. Absolutely. Or at least or write. Or write, yeah. <laughs> so... I still think the pen has a lot of very nice features. Should we go on to love and hate? Yes. Yeah. All right. The fact that it's, right. a, it's power filler means it has a large ink capacity. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That it's made out of lava, I think, is cool. I don't know of any other pen that's made out of lava. So that's that's cool. 
Um, I like that clutch system. It makes more sense in the, the Opera series that has square caps and square bodies so that the facets of both squares line up. This is two round tubes, so it, it doesn't really matter how everything aligns. But anyway... But it is a quick release no, mechanism. It, it is a quick release mechanism, so I'm capping it. It's really that simple. <laughs> You know, you know, it works. So, I mean, in that regard, yeah. I think that is, that's, it's very cool uh, and that, that works well. Um, the bronze highlights, it, it works. It, it, it looks nice. It and looks they develop warm. a patina. Yeah, so which it, is, it only it's adds character. I mean, it's a really cool, unique looking pen. All of that is great. Though, right? I think the size is great. Not too big, not too small. It's just, it's just well I think for done. small hands, it'd be a bit big. But yeah. I think you can get away with it because I, I am able to use mine. It's also well balanced and not super heavy. Yeah. So in that regard, it's nice. For example, the, 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 the Opera Masters are, are much heavier. So it's it's a nice, nice balance, I would say. So it has a lot going for it. Mm -hmm. Nib issue, I mean, things I hate. Well, the nib issue we've, we've described at length, I would say. What I would have liked to see is an ink window. B because it's a power filler, uh, you have no idea how much ink is in there. And if you... Uh, um, I think it's empty, right? So if you pull this yeah, out... I guess we'll find out! And you do this, Wouldn't and that be it, there is ink in it, then it squirts ink everywhere. So there is no, no telling how much ink is left. I don't know what this would look like with an ink window. Maybe Probably not odd, as cool. But it would be utilitarian and convenient. Uh, so I think that's uh, that's my, my love and hate. What about you? Um, well, I I do echo your sentiments about the the color, uh, the, the bronze, and um, the writing experience of the nib, and the ink window. Um, for me, one issue it's it's I don't know if this is a deal breaker for me. I don't think so. But because the material is absorbent basically when you ink it yeah. the only way to ink it is by dipping it right unless you remove the nib unit but that's not really feasible to do because you need a special tool and all that so basically you have to dip it and um you will get ink on the section and the section will suck up the ink so you have to wipe it off immediately and i really think that depending on the ink you use it can stain it and um that could add character to the pen, but if you don't want like a hot pink uh, section, tinted, tinted section, or something, maybe you don't use hot pink ink. You gotta wipe it, yeah. it but like right away. But also, I mean, even if it splatters ink onto it, it's gonna suck up the ink. So you have to consider that um, there is a chance that some part of this is gonna get stained. So I think it's similar to wood pens that are unfinished. Yeah. Um, or not sealed, basically, that if something lands on it, it can get stained. And, um, I, I, for me, I haven't decided if that's, if that's, like, a big issue or if, if that adds character to the pen. I don't know. One thing I would like to add is that someone asked me that a long time ago on my review of the, uh, the steel model of this. Because it absorbs moisture, will your pen start to smell like sweat at some point? Which is... You know, slightly off-putting, but actually a fair question. Um, my my answer I don't is want, I don't want to smell it. Sorry. I have never noticed that. I have never pulled a pen out of a pen case and people all leave the room or something. Well, like to be I honest, I think based on just holding this, I could smell the brass. Yeah. So maybe you will. You're more likely to smell the metal yeah. than anything else. So that's, that's a good thing. I think. But I don't know if you have particularly sweaty hands. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I, or I, if you use lotion regularly yeah, and stuff, yeah, all of that it, is going to rub it, off onto the pen. Exactly, and it, it will probably absorb it. So yeah. All right. Now, would you buy it? Um, this goes for five hundred and fifty euros. Here. Well, this is a very interesting one for me because I am still in the debating process of whether I want to own this pen, and um, I um, I haven't decided yet. Because it is 550 euros here, it's not inexpensive. And f I am fortunate that I can test the nibs before I purchase it, so I can get a nib that I actually like and not end up with a dud that probably should go back. Um, but I I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. I, I think it is really cool, and it's, it's a very, very neat-looking pen, but um, it's also not inexpensive, and 
I have mixed feelings about how well made they are. Not necessarily this one, but I have seen newer ones and there were big spaces in um, in the clip and uh, in the finial there was a giant gap like around here. So I, I, I'm not sure. And, and that's probably not enough to put me off it, off its coolness, you know? Yeah, I know, I think I it's, know. it's a good point, yeah, yeah, especially because, unfortunately, unfortunately, we are getting to a point where, where buying a palladium nib seems to be a bit of a crapshoot, where you can either get a really nice one or one that hardly writes. The thing is, when you get one that works, they're really Yeah, they awesome. are superb, but if they're not, and you buy a pen of this, I mean, you're not buying a $20 pen here. You, you're buying a very expensive writing instrument, so... I mean, if you know how to tune your own nibs, no problem, right? Yeah, but, but this one if is you don't, really challenging. This one is I mean, bad. This is really bad. I, I think this so one is just, it just has to go bad. It's not a matter of you make a little wetter and it writes. No, yeah. it still skips like crazy, so yeah. tough to deal with. Yeah. Now, So, but, I, in, in, in summary, I really don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to buy it. it. It's really tough. My advice would be, I don't I don't know either, my advice would be, I mean, clearly I bought the steel one at some point, which doesn't have the power filler, it's a, it's a cheaper filling mechanism. Um, cheaper? What is it, a cartridge converter? No, it's, it has sort of a oh, built-in converter, right, and you just right, unscrew right. the end cap, and that operates the, the converter yeah, well, inside. That, it's, yeah. It works, but it's, it's not as, it doesn't hold as much ink as this does. My advice would be, if you really want this pen, and I think that goes for any Visconti pen, see if you can find a brick-and-mortar store where you can try it out. Uh, or it buy really... it from a, an online place that will let you send it back if you have issues yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or ask them to test the nib first or something like that because yeah. it, it can definitely uh, it can either make or break the pen. Yeah. Um, that's, now, that's a tough one, eh? Is it or is it not serious nibbage? <sighs> this one is really hard. Yeah, that's what she said. So, serious nibbage meter, not serious, very serious. And the scale with no numbers because this is not an exact science. I, um... You know, if I were to judge all Homo sapiens based on this one experience, and of course that is the issue with reviewing, right? I mean, you typically only use one pen from a series. I would put it pretty low. Yeah. Because I think it is a really awesome pen, but that nib, I mean, it's not even usable. So it's basically yeah. you spend $550 and you can't use your pen. But I have used many other ones. I have two other Homo sapiens, but I mean, I've used nibs in store for this pen that were outstanding and it was just so pleasant and like nibs that made me even want an extra fine so in that case it's like up here so it's really tough yeah i agree with this it's uh i've rambled so much on this one i'm so sorry the the, the writing experience yeah. is what 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 defines it here and for this pen it's not up to par and maybe for other models it, it will be yeah. So it's really, and it really I know on a lot of you out there have this pen and you absolutely love it, and that's fantastic because yeah. then you got one that that's great. Again, when when these palladium nibs do write, they are super smooth, yeah, very pleasant, and especially the finer ones, quite a bit springy. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even call it semi flex, but definitely springy. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun, but it has to write. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not serious. I mean, it is just undeniably cool, right? It's just a cool yeah, pen, it has but a lot it's so expensive. It. And at that, you should have something that works. Now imagine that people would say, well, I happen to have 550 euros lying around, but I wanted to buy this, but now I don't. What should I get instead? Well... 550 is a lot of money, so you have a lot of options from various brands. Mm -hmm. um, you, um, you have, of course, other Viscontis. Um, you, have, you could look, I guess, to some Monte Grappas. Well, they're fairly expensive, but... Um. Yeah, you can look at um, uh, Delta Dolce Vitas. Yes. Um, I think you're getting close to this... To the oversize, although I think that's a bit more, right? 6 six ninety, six fifty. Yeah, that's a bit more expensive. Uh, but at the very least, you can look at the medium <coughs> ones, or like the Stan Tufo series, which yep. are a little smaller. Um, you could also look at uh, Mont Blanc 146, Mont Blanc. at the Pelican. very least. Pelican M800, maybe getting close to an M1000. Yeah, so um, you are definitely, there are definitely You have options. a lot of options, and yeah. um, I think that's what makes it tough, is because yep. you have a lot of options. Yeah, So, it is. But this is a very unique pen, and it's really cool, and if you have a nib that works, it's going to be extremely pleasant. Yeah. So... And that's it? I don't know, yeah. 
We hope this was useful. It probably wasn't. It was probably very stressful. I'm just more distressed now because I don't know what to do. Well, anyway. We'll, we'll call you later. Go on. Um, we, uh, we hope this was useful. Michael, thanks for letting us know. Let us know, though. If you have experience with this pen, we yeah. are curious because... Or Visconti you know, Palladium nibs. Yeah. Is it, um, is it, has it been random for you? Has it worked out? It's not a, a giveaway, but, you know, just let us know yeah, in comment. Just, just out of curiosity, like, how, what your experience has been with, um, this pen or this nib, and do you like your pen, and just, just chime in, yo. We hope this was useful. <laughs> yeah. And we shall gladly see you later. Bye. That's creepy. Bye. Uh, hello. <laughs> He's not going. He's not taking over. Hello and welcome to the <laughs> <coughs> to, uh, I think we should start over.